Well, Capricorns, oh my God. <laughs> Capricorns, I have no idea what is going on with you guys, but you seem so <laughs> really, really, really like bringing out some sort of information that is happening and transpiring. And so many cards came out for you and a lot of other people are going to be jealous but it's the message that came out whatever is happening and transpired this message is help for you Capricorns um so I know the other people are going to be jealous but I can't change what is happening and transpiring um, a whole lot of jealousy um, is um, here so Capricorn this is the month of an air energy um, you have the eight of Pentacles uh, um, the page of cups, uh, but it's in reverse. So check out the extended readings to see what is going on between you and a corporation. Um, and your work is as if, uh, um, there's some sort of a jealousy from a corporation institution. Okay. And you're going to be standing your grounds because I see you there standing your grounds. Okay. You're like, I'm not taking BS from no one. Um, and you're really standing up to some real injustice. Now, Capricorn, and I think that this is the reason why the guides and angel bring out so many extra messages for you guys, is that uh, um, you have four weeks. This month have four weeks. You have her energy in the first week and the second and the third week. You are dealing with an evil situation in the second week, okay? And I see it's as if you're dealing with some sort of a um, conflict in situation with a Leo. This person is just really uh, sick. This person need to get off. And whoever this person is, I see you're going to be victoriously. Um, it is a month where you're going to be victorious. Your project is going to be good. Your business is going to be good. And whatever you're working on, um, Capricorns, you're going to be victorious uh, um, and uh, victorious and successfully overcoming some sort of a horrible issue that evil people from outside influence. It has to do with a Leo and a Pisces man. These two people are using really negative uh, um, energy. They're, they're very evil. Stay away from them. A Leo man and a Pisces man. Okay. So be aware. Changes is coming up. Um, some sort of a conflicts that you have, some sort of a balance is going to be coming in. Changes is coming up. I will advise you guys to just take the, um, the monthly extended is a, is a dollar 99. Um, try and take that for this reading because this reading is very disturbing especially this month of November because it's the month of healing and you're dealing with an horrible deceptive corporation. Um, but you're going to be released at the end of the month because you're going to be standing your ground and cutting through the BS, um, with a corporation and ending some sort of a criminal offense that they were doing. Okay. And you're going to be ending the BS. So I see you're going to be victorious and successful. You're going to be moving forward. It is going to be a very, very positive month. It's just that you're releasing yourself from some sort of a negative situation that was transpiring. So when we look at the first week, and especially I see no love is offered. There is a horrible, horrible there was some sort of a competition that was going on in an organization, institution, and you just turned your back. You're like, um, later, um, I'm really not playing you guys nasty little game. I don't have any time for um, playing your game. So later. So I see you're turning your back. You're not offering love to um, some sort of a um, or, or organization or institution, whoever these people is. And it has something to do with your work. And I see... Um, you know, you know that, you know, whatever is transpiring, I'm good at what I do. I don't need um, you to say, oh, well done or whatever. Um, let it go. So in the first week, you have balance. So it's a hurt week. You're going to be receiving some offer. I see it's as if people were trying um, to have some sort of a competition. And you just look at them as if I'm not in no competition with anyone. So um, you know, whatever competition you are, you're in this competition with yourself. And I see some sort of an offer is going to be coming in. 
you're going to be victorious and successful in overcoming some sort of an issue, um, some sort of an emotional issue that you were dealing with. And I see you're standing your ground. You're looking out and you're focusing on your business and creating um, however you create your wealth. That is what you're focused on. I see you turn your back. And in the second week of November, I, you know, really, I can't wait to see what is coming up. Um, because, um, you're really dealing with a disgusting, um, situation. But, you know, this, this sort of a negative energy in the second week, I see you're just uh, really, um, I'm not really playing your game. Um, so I see balance is going to be coming in in the first week. Balance with a situation that you are dealing with, some sort of a competition at work. Um, it is now over because I see you're just like, uh, I'm not having a competition. I know who I am. I don't need to have competition. And I see that you guys are just going to be really, because the competition is over. But this um, negative energy is still there. So um, they're going to be finding out some sort of a horrible situation that a Leo and a Pisces have done. And I see that they are down. They are down. The second week, you have the energy of the devil. And uh, some sort of an offer that you, uh, you're going to be receiving in the second week. Think first before you take this offer. Whoever is offering you anything in the second week, think first. Um, there is some sort of a, um, someone who is going to be coming in offering love. It is false love. It's not true love. Think first um, because this person has a real negative energy. Um, so don't open up yourself. Anyone you meet in the second week of November, it is a no. No matter how it is sweet, no matter how they make you feel, no. You do not want to connect with this person. It is going to be costing you basically your life. Whoever this person is, do not connect to this person. Um, no matter how sweet this person is talking and no matter how sweet um, things are happening, it's a no. Um, so, um, they're going to be finding out in the second week. And I think they already took down these person. A Leo and a Pisces could be going to jail. A Leo and a Pisces has been using negative forces in order to affect some of you. And I see that they're going to be ending this. Okay. Some sort of a competition. You're going to be walking away and like, toodaloo. Bye people. Um, seriously, I don't have any time for you. And um, your stupid little play, okay? Now, some of you are standing up against people in power who have done some sort of, a, who had some sort of a struggle, um, a struggle power. They were, they were really creating so a whole lot of issue for you Capricorns and was um, having some sort of a um, competition that was going on. And I see this competition is going to be over because it's as if... Uh, I think it has to do with um, people and as if they know, you know, those sort of a people who think that they know everything. Um, and this is what I always say to people. I don't know everything. I, I still learn. I learn from a lot of people. I am not, um, I'm not street wise. I'm, you, you know, I know I'm not street wise and uh, most Capricorns is not really street wise, but wh whoever this corporation is or was, uh, that was trying to pretend as if, oh, I know everything and that one. And then you're, you just do your work and you're like, listen, I don't have to have competitions with people because I know who I am and because I know what I'm all about. And I see you're just uh, doing your thing and just moving on and don't even look in. So a lot of you could be dealing with your boss. I see someone from a corporation is going to be offering you love, but it's as if this person wants, um, um, you know, to connect with you and connect with your business. And I see that you're not really interested in this person because somehow you feel as if something is off by this person. Listen to your intuition because yes, someone, something is off by this person. This person is not really honest. I see, um, um, you are going to be standing your, your ground against a corporation institution, really standing up um, against people who have been using their powers and stand up and said, no, um, this is not how it is. And this is not how it's going to be happening. I am taking back uh, um, my power. You have been 
um, using your power. And I think that it could be something where your boss, I see in the third week, some of you are going to be standing up against your boss. I see you have absolutely no affection or no sympathy for this person because some of you have a boss that have that don't know what they're doing absolutely they don't know what they're doing and i see some of you um are really looking at this person and think oh god whatever um you know but um you're like you know just let me do my work and i see and i'm advising you capricorn do not give out all your your um you know uh, your work air foreign do not give uh, give people um your information no because uh, some people will just uh, connect with you and like freelancers no freelancers do your work you don't want to be with friends with anyone just do your work um you don't have to be with friends do your work get your pay and that's it bye um you're not someone that is a uh, uh, looking for any friends. I see you guys run a tight business. Okay. A very, very tight business. And you're, you're going to be just very professional. Do your work. And that's it. Okay. In the first fourth week, I see a new start is coming in. Um, some of you could be moving to a new corporation institution. I see a new start where I see your boss could be wanting to offer you something. Um, but I see you are not open for this offering. Um, and, uh, no, it's a no because, uh, um, whoever this person is, is very negative. Okay. And I see you feel it in yourself and you know that this person is working on a negative frequency. So I see you're going to be protecting yourself. The last week I see you stand your ground and you're going to be very, very victorious and successful. And you are going to be just coming out, especially with your work, um, the third week going in the fourth week, you're standing your ground. You're going to be grounding yourself, doing your work, and you're going to be successful and very, very successful with your work. So there's some sort of a situation where you realize that there was some tug of war. It could be you're having issues with your kids and you're standing your ground and said, listen, I'm your parents and um, you know, however you might feel about this, I am your parents and I see you're really going to be standing your ground with your kid. I see some sort of a situation if your kid is a Pisces cancer, Pisces, um, there is going to be coming, this kid is going to be getting a new start. So if this kid is a Pisces, um, I see, um, this person is going to get a new start. Now, what I'm seeing is that I see some of you, a Pisces wants to return in your life. No, this person um, carries lower energy and worship the devil. No. All right. So mm, I see some of you are going to be receiving an offer from a Pisces. No, don't take it. Don't take it. Do not take it. Do not take it. Do not connect with this organization. I see the Pisces is coming after um your business um but he's gonna fall because you have uh, the sword of truth just waiting for him and this is a really greedy little sucker a very deceptive um pisces person very greedy um the tug of war with a corporation is now over because you stand your ground and you say no and you're protecting your work in all ways and some sort of a situation is coming up where um, it's as if a, a corporation just don't really get it. You know, they're just, this is an evil corporation, um, that a Pisces and a Leo, um, have collaborated. A Pisces and a Leo. Okay. So I see some new start is going to be coming in and you're going to be standing your ground and speaking your truth. And it's as if I really don't care who you think you are. Ah, uh, hell no. No, that's not how it's going to be going. So, wow. So I see it, this month is really going to be tight. Uh, it's going to be you, Capricorns, really standing your ground. Don't let anyone walk over you. Um, I see you're going to be speaking your truth and taking down people. So you're bringing balance to a very evil um, person who um, offered you something. In the first week, you're going to get offered no. 
first week and second week, no. The last week is going to be, um, the third and last week is going to be your most powerful week. But the first and second week, anyone offering you something, it's a no, okay? So I see you're dealing with a metal man, discipline, um, boundaries. So call upon the metal king in order to help you guys. I have no idea what is going on, but you guys have five extra energy. So for some of you is, and, and as you look at this reading, the metal king, use the metal king in the second week. Okay. So, um, let's call upon the metal king to place, uh, um, your energy over us as Capricorn to protect us in the second week. Uh, um, in the third week, um, um, I, I see you're going to be taking the eye road, um, gratitude and service. Okay. You're going to be doing a lot of gratitude and service. Um, this is going to be coming up. Uh, and this is going to be good because this is the, the, the energy of the shift. Gaia, Mother Earth is here in the four weeks. So I see a lot of business could be coming in for you in the fourth week. And this is going to be absolutely fabulous. Absolutely good. Um, so don't worry. So the magic thing is here because there's some sort of a negative energy that is going to be coming, um, at you guys in this month, a really negative energy. And it's coming in, um, from a Leo and a Pisces. I don't trust these people for they're, they're, they're using negative forces. Okay. Details, details, details. So I see a lot of you could be, um, doing accounting, studying. It's all about the details. So, and I see if you are persistent, uh, it's all about the fruitation of abundance that is going to be bringing in to you. I see the high Lord of gratitude and service is here. Um, selfishness, humanity and consciousness, uh, um, action are going to be used in this month and it is going to be extremely, extremely powerful. So, um, you're ending November on, uh, October on a very, very good note. You're going to be victorious and successful with a project that you have been working on. And I see you are dealing. The second week is one of the most horrible week. First week and second week um, is horrible um, for um, you Capricorns. But uh, use the Metal King. And um, there is some sort of a negative energy. And the person who is doing it is a Leo and a Pisces, a Leo and a Pisces. So, um, whether it was a Leo girlfriend or a Pisces, but I see, um, they're going to be, it's as if their world is going to be shifting. So be aware of this. I gotta go and say namaste until next time. Capricorn, please, um, check out the extended of this reading because there is just so much that is going on. Um, in this reading and so much people, the two first week, be on your P's and Q's. You're going to be pulling and burning yourself down for whatever the negative forces that is coming in, um, from these people. Um, some of you do not trust a Leo. Um, I, I, I don't know. This Leo, I see they're, they're going to, a corporation came down on a Leo, uh, a Leo Aquarians and a Pisces for something that they have done. Um, and they have done some sort of a criminal offense and the stupid ass, they're so stupid because what is happening is that, uh, they're going to jail. Uh, it doesn't matter who, how much witchcraft and what they do, they're going to jail. Jail is where they're going. So, um, however this is transpired. So, um, be aware and anyone offer you anything in the first week and the second week, don't take it, especially in the second week. Cause whoever that negative energy is, is not good, but you're going to be overcoming all of this in the month of November. I really do love you guys. Please thumbs up, like, and share these uh, video and um, your birthdays are coming up. So start, um, asking for birthdays. All of you guys get 15% off the birthday readings. And these are just powerful because you get to see what is happening in every, each and every month. And also what is happening in your 12 houses. I do love you guys. There's no question about it. Um, and no matter what happens and transpire, um, it's all about the details. Look at the details, all about the details, all about the details, whatever is happening and transpiring. It's all about the details. 
um, whatever this competition and whatever people were doing, I see that a balance is coming in. People were trying to block your work. People were um, working against you, but a balance is going to be coming through um, for you guys. Uh, um, your numbers, um, before you go, your numbers is powerful. You have 10, new start and new beginning, transformation. And the transformation is going to be coming up for whatever is happening in the second week. Um, number seven is here. Gaia Hurt is here. So you have two, ten, so one, two, five, seven, forty-three, and Gaia Hurt is eighteen. So this is really wonderful and positive. Um, so this is nine transition with your materialistic stability and your wealth that is going to be coming up. So you have a lot of energies and I hope the rest of the people don't feel jealous because what is happening and transpired there is just something that is happening with you, um, Capricorns, um, because this is like you're ending, um, you're getting out of and you're coming back with Saturn coming back in, um, your, your houses and I see transition is coming up. I gotta go. Namaste until next time.